Hey guys, it's Channel Heed here. How's everyone doing? Uh, for today, we are going to be going back to Wolfenstein 2 and tackling the question of what happens if you don't choose to save anyone at the beginning of the game. So what that means is, at the very beginning of Wolfenstein 2, um, you're in this little dream sequence where your mom asks you to choose between porridge and soup, uh, and then you wake up out of that dream and you are here uh, at the end of the previous Wolfenstein game where you're in Death's Head's compound and he's making you pick whether to save Fergus or Wyatt. And you have to choose which one to sacrifice, thus saving the other. And, you know, um, I'll admit I haven't really played the first one that much, so I'm not really attached to either one that much. But I did end up picking to save Wyatt. Um, so, I mean, I'm curious what you guys picked. Uh, if you chose Wyatt or Fergus, uh, let me know in the comments. But that was my personal choice. I chose to save Wyatt. Not because I had, like, any attachment to either one of them. I just, I don't know, I just picked Wyatt. But anyway, so, what happens if you don't choose to save either one? You know, you simply refuse to make a choice. What happens? Because, um, you know, this is like one of those games where you actually do have choices that affect, you know, the game story. And in a lot of other games, uh, if you're presented with similar choices, like in Mass Effect, if you don't pick, then the game picks for you. And in a lot of cases, if you don't choose to save someone, then the game will kill both of them. So... Or, you know, if they kill both of them, then you fail the game, or the game ends, or whatever. But what happens if we do that here? Um, well, if we just, you know, let it sit. Well, as you can see, the longer you wait, uh, you you keep getting flashes of um, of Death Head himself. Um, he, uh, he, he'll just sit there um, and keep repeating the same lines over and over again. You know, he's telling you to pick, and then he's, uh, he's saying he admires your stubbornness, but that his, I guess his specialty is uh, patience, and he has like an infinite supply of it. I guess that's kind of like a joke or reference to um, what we're trying to do with this experiment here. Because essentially what we were trying to do is we were trying to see whether our stubbornness lasts longer than his patience. And right now, I, I, I can tell you, I spent like one hour <laughs> doing this, because that's the uh, maximum length I can record with the Xbox One X Game DVR. So, I left it sitting here for one hour to see if anything happens if we don't pick. And, like I said, he just sits there repeating the same lines over and over again. And we keep getting flashes of him, like different images. Um, I guess subliminal messages. But, uh, I'm this is like sped up like 50 times speed right now. But... After one hour, nothing changed. He keeps saying the same thing over and over again about how he has like unlimited patience. But anyways, um, so I guess that's basically uh, all that happens, which is nothing. But I did uh, extract the uh, scenes, the flashes, so you could see exactly what those are like up close, and you know, in with more time. But I think I'm pretty sure there are a total of eight scenes that flash. So here are all of them. Um, I'm pretty sure there aren't any more because they they repeat and they they repeat like randomly as well. But I'm pretty sure these are all the uh, images that flash. So that's basically all that happens. Um, you just keep seeing flashes of him, but no matter what, you have to choose one of them to say to sacrifice. Uh, and you know if you just ignore it and be stubborn, his patience literally is infinite. So he he wasn't kidding. Uh, but I mean technically. If this was real life, you could just wait it out until like everyone dies of like starvation or thirst. But you know, and he he seems like he's a lot older than you, so you know, compared to like Blaskovitz, you might last longer than him as far as like the thirst and starvation game goes. But that's that's basically about it. There's no way to save both of them, um, and there's no like secret uh, ending, I guess, if you refuse. But it is interesting. You do see a few interesting uh, scenes of him up close, but that's that's about it. So, yeah, just a little curiosity because, like I said, in a lot of other games, uh, you, there usually is that third option where if you don't make a choice, the game picks for you. But in this case, there is nothing. I mean, it, it, it's possible 
there's like an Easter egg where you have to wait like a day or something or like several more hours, but I didn't really want to try that. And quite frankly, I don't really think there's anything if I waited longer. But, you know, that's just my thought. But for now, I'm just going to say nothing happens if you don't pick other than seeing like all those extra flashes. But yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this, uh, you know, make sure to leave a like. Uh, and if there's anything else you want me to check out in Wolfenstein 2, anything, any experiments you want me to try or any other games you want me to tackle, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to uh, look into it. But other than that, if uh, you haven't already, make sure to subscribe uh, and stay tuned. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.